Hello again, I'm Trish Triumpho Sullivan, and today we're gonna to talk briefly about a film camera and some of the basics of film cameras. So let me tell, show you very quickly my film camera, or one of my film cameras, and we'll look at the different parts of the camera today. So I'm uh, gonna show you my my Minolta, and you can see here that uh, it's an old manual camera, film camera, and we'll just hold it up so you can kind of see the whole thing. So let's look at the different parts of the camera. So the basic part, right, is the body, it's the body of the camera, and the lens. So there's the lens sticking out. So the two basic, most basic parts of the camera. Um, here we have the lens cap, I'm gonna take off right now, and you can see right there with my lens. Um, so this is a 35 millimeter single lens reflex camera, which means there's a mirror inside here on the top that allows you to look through the lens. So if I were to hold this lens, this up, the viewfinder up to the camera here, you should be able to actually see through it. Well, it doesn't look like you can right now with this. It can't go close enough, but um, this is where you would look through to see right through the lens and the mirrors make that possible. So I've turned my camera on and you can see here that we have uh, the shutter speed control here. Right, which is right there. So there's different shutter speeds. You can hold it up so you can see it a little bit better there. All right. Um, and that's just a little button that turns. And then there's your shutter release button. You press down to take a photograph. This is your film advanced level lever. So when I go like this, it advances the film, right? And then it won't go further once I've advanced it enough. So it stays there. Um, this here is your hot shoe for a flash. So that's for a hot shoe flash and it's basically a flash that just clips on to here and it's called a shoe because the flash slips in as if you would slip on a shoe. Um, on this side we have the EV, right, exposure and the ISO. Now on this camera, because it's so old, notice it says ASA, right? That's the old term. So if you have an old camera, instead of ISO, it may say IS ASA or DIN, which is the uh, German version. So that's there. And here I have the film rewinder, right? So I would pop this up when I want to take the film out and I'll show you guys how to do that as well, right? So um, this has, as you can see on the back, it has an equivalency of DIN and ASA. ASA is the exact same thing, right, as ISO. So DIN, ASA, same thing as ISO. So when you're looking for that, and that's the film speed, right, or the film's sensitivity to light. I just is a quick reminder. So now we'll go to the lens. On the lens, we have the aperture ring right here. So I can change the aperture. I can make a very large aperture, 2.8, or I can make a very small aperture, which is F22. Right? And then we have the equivalencies here. Okay, and here is the focus ring. Notice on the focus ring, there are some numbers. These are to guide you as to how many feet away you are from your subject. So you can actually, and there's the infinity symbol right there, that's for infinity. And that means it's as far away, like out into the deep distance will be in focus and everything in between. And then this would be 12 feet, six feet, four feet, three feet, 2.5 feet, two feet, 1.5 feet, 1.25 feet, 
and one foot, right? So that way you can actually manually, you can pre-focus your camera just by estimating how many feet away your subject is, right? So, you know, you can lay out a tape measure and just get a visual idea. What's six feet, you know? <laughs> What's, two, you know, three feet? What does 12 feet look like? And that'll really help you a lot if you ever need to pre-focus when you're shooting something where you know where, where it's going to be um, and you want to take some quick shots, right? So this is the basic pieces of the camera. Um, down here in the bottom, this is the battery compartment. Here's where you could screw it into a tripod. And then this is your film release. When you want to rewind your film, you press that button in. Um, and then if you want to take your film out, right, you pop this up. And if you, let me see if I can do it so I can hold the camera so you can actually see. You should be able to hear it pop. There it goes. So that's the back of the camera. You'll notice I have some film in there. It's 224 exposure. Um, and when you're putting film in, you want to wrap it around this little spindle here. And let me show you how it's done so you can hopefully get a good idea of how to do it. So you'll notice this little spindle here has, um, has some grooves in it. Okay, and you're going to want to attach that film kind of to the groove to get it in there. So let's see. I can do this so you can see what I'm actually doing here. Okay, I'm try to hold it up in a way that makes it so you can see it. I'm going to try to slip it into one of these little grooves, which is easier said than done. Here, let me just. Turn it a little bit. Ah, give it one more try. Hang on a sec. There we go. Okay, so you'll notice that it's in here. And I'm, I want to line up the film with these little grabbers right there so that when I start to put it forward, so now I'm gonna wind it. See, I want it to get it to be on there, nice and tight. There we go. So I'm actually hitting the start of release and winding the film at the same time, okay? So now the film is ready to take photos. So I can shut this shut this up. There we go. And put the sh put the film rewind back in. There we go. Okay? And now I should be able to take photos. All right? And this little window here will keep track of where my photos are. So I'm not quite to number one yet because I had the film could have been exposed there. And there we go. So now I'm on the first, the first one. Okay, so those are the basics of the camera, right? Remember the shutter is right before the film plane. So we look, when we looked inside, we saw the shutter back, um, back, uh, on the other side of the film and the aperture is here in the lens you may be able to actually see it as I turn the aperture ring let's see yep there we can see it going very small for a point uh, f22 and then very big for f2.8 right and this lens is a um, 28 millimeter lens so it's not a, it's not a 50 millimeter it's a 28 millimeter lens so that you can see it always will say it right in the on the front there okay so this is one of my old film cameras and that's the basic parts of this camera which is a 
uh, Minolta Single Lens Reflex or SLR. Okay, so that's it for this time. And uh, we'll see you next time when I show you a couple other different cameras for film. A couple other different choices.